Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, I'm gonna explain you about ASD time, ask time, and you know the C time functions in C. So, in the last tutorial, you know all of you guys have learned how to get the time and date in C, and also you know you guys had a look on uh, the time.h header file. So, if you guys have watched my last tutorial, you know there we were printing the date and time by using the members of the you know structure TM. So, in this tutorial, these two functions AST time and the C time are gonna print the system date and time in some particular predefined uh, form. So, first uh, we're gonna see the syntax of these two functions, and you know then I'm gonna teach you how to use these two functions. So this ASC time function is going to take the pointer to a structure of type uh, TM and it's going to return the address of the character stream or the string which contains the information in that uh, you know uh, structure TM in this form. So day, month, date, hours, minute, seconds, year and then a new line. So it's going to print the day first and then the month you know separated by space then the date and you know then hours minutes and the seconds separated by columns next the year and then it's gonna add a new line and this uh, slash zero is for you know just to indicate that you know that's the end of the string and then the c time function so you can see here the c time function is gonna take the pointer of type time underscore t and it's gonna return the time in the form of day then a space then month a space date space hours minutes seconds separated by the columns and then year and then a new line and then and also you know this is just to indicate that you know that's the end of the string for this uh, function reference so you can see the difference here the C time function is gonna take the pointer of type time underscore t where you know uh, a variable of time underscore t is gonna contain uh, the time in the form of some numbers and this ASC time is going to take the structure of type TM. So now uh, we're going to see, you know, how we can use them in our program. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a variable of type time underscore t. That's why it's going to be time underscore t, and uh, let me call it as t. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the time function, which returns the calendar time of the system. So it's going to be t equal to time and as a parameter we're gonna pass the null value okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use the c time function which takes the address of this t variable as a parameter so i'm gonna pass ampersand t here and uh, to print out the value returned by this uh, c time function i'm gonna put this in uh, inside this put as function okay now i'm gonna save this one execute compile and run okay now you can see here first is the day which is Wednesday next the month this is a September next date which is 25 next you know how many seconds 12 20 35 next the year which is you know 2013 and also note that you know last tutorial we were writing this uh, day and month in the form of uh, in numbers you know for uh, Wednesday we were uh, getting you know 3 and you know for September we are getting the value of 9 but here you can see you know it's in a string form okay the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use this uh, ASC time function so it's gonna be ASC time okay you can see here in the syntax this ASC time is gonna take the structure TM as the parameter right now we have a variable T which is of type time underscore T and we can't pass that to this uh, ASC time function so that's why we can obtain the you know pointer to this um, structure TM by calling the local time function so I'm gonna use the local time and next uh, we need to pass the ampersand t as a parameter to this local time function and also you know this uh, local time function is gonna return the address of uh, structure of type tm so next we're gonna use a put as function to print out the value returned by this eac time function okay here we are using the local time because you know we want to get the local time if you want to get the gm time you can use that no problem so let me copy this one and uh, paste it 
in the next line and let me change this one to GM time okay now I'm gonna save this one execute compile and run so you can see here so this first line is from this C time function and the second line which is from this ASC time function you can see the you know format first day next month which is you know September next date which is 25 hours minutes and seconds and then you know the year and then a new line and this third line print out the time um, by using the GM time function so this is it guys this is how we can uh, use this ASC time and uh, C time function in C so thank you guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning lad and I'll see you in the next tutorial